Okay. Oh, drummers, you've got me on a subject here. Okay. Drummers, apart from Charlie Watts, okay, we'll put him there, right? Boom. Hey, Steve Jordan, Charlie Drayton, George Rosselli, Gene Krupa, Baby Duds. I can go back and back, and Georgie Wetland. Uh, I mean, it, 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 when you think about it, it always seems that the drummer, good drummers and great drummers are thin on the ground, but when you start to think about them, whoa, there's loads out there, and I've no doubt there's loads that I can't even mention. There's African guys that blow my mind away, and, and Sly Dunbar from Jamaica, and he's not the only one. I mean, just to bring my brother in, into this, uh, the Wingless Angels. Drums, uh, no, without it, you're kind of nowhere, you know. And and if you're talking about in the concepts of of a rock and roll band or a you know, a band, you know, then it's finding the right bass player to go because really, a rhythm section is a rhythm section. And really, you have to have the two that really uh, hit in together. You know, you can have a fantastic bass player and a fantastic drummer, and they sound terrible together. You know, because they're both who they are, and they don't make it's chemistry. It is this weird thing that you can never answer about all of this. Is uh, is that there's expertise and there's, I mean, it's hence all of those like, attempts of putting super bands together and everything. But I mean, quite honestly, they're all trying to be uh, you know virtuosos at once.